Hello everyone, this is Chelsea from Those With Words. Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you my 2024 haul from the San Francisco Pen Show. I attended the Pen Show on Friday and Saturday during general admission hours. In total, I would say I was there for about three to four hours, so around two hours each day. And even though I purchased quite a few fun stationary things, I actually didn't end up buying any pens this year or ink. So that's a little bit of a spoiler there, but without further ado, let's get into it. So first I am just taking out what I purchased just one by one. Um, and I think the first brand that I'm gonna go over is Plotter USA. They've been at the San Francisco Pen Show for a couple years now, I think ever since 2021. And I just took this chance to purchase a couple of things from them. One thing that I got done are these corner customizations. So I added on the rose gold corners to my fifth anniversary special edition plotter. And I really, really love how these turned out. It matches the rose gold plating already on the binder. And I just really love how sleek they look. One of my favorite things about it is that I have this closure around the binder, also from Plotter. And it matches the corner customization perfectly. So I'm just trying to show you this is like a separator that's available from the Plotter brand itself. And that's what I'm using in the middle of the binder there to keep it closed. And the way it falls so nicely against the corner customization, it's right up against it, but it's not over or under or anything like that. I just really appreciate that extra attention to detail while they were thinking about the corner customizations. And it was a real treat to have my plotter customized. So that was really nice. I also got this leather binder case. I was thinking about this for a while and seeing it in person and really feeling how soft the ultra suede leather is really convinced me. It was something that I had been considering, like I said, but I was waffling back and forth on it and I decided once I really saw them and felt them in person that I really liked one and I got it in this camel green colorway. And this is in the Bible size. It comes with a pen loop on the right side and with a plotter logo stamped onto the back. It's a really luxurious item and I do have to admit that I know it's definitely not something I absolutely need, right? I don't require this with my plotter binder or anything. And I'm just showing you here how the Bible size fits in. I can definitely fit in some other things, but I just wanted to mainly use this to carry around my fifth anniversary plotter, which I'm using as a personal planner. I've been using it for quite some time, actually. And now I'm just testing out the pen holder here with a uni jet stream that I have. It'll probably need some stretching out just because it's new right now, especially the pen loop, but I'm sure it'll take a lot of different pens. I'm trying my best to show you here, but the main reason I purchased this is that the binder and the plating there is sort of coming off just from use. I read about this online. I think it was actually on the Plotter official website that this kind of wear and tear is expected, especially if I'm carrying it around with me and, you know, putting it places. And I have to admit, I'm not particularly careful with my leather products, things like Plotter binders, traveler's notebooks. I just kind of toss them into my bag and go. So now that the plating is coming off a little bit, I wanted to protect that with this case. The other thing I purchased are just the 2025 monthly and weekly schedules. 
These are the same things that I've purchased for a couple years now, and I'm just going to continue using them for personal planning next year. And because I think my purchases were above a certain dollar amount, I can't remember exactly what, I was also given this sticker sheet with plotter logos and sayings. And I think it's really cool because I think it's like an A5 size. So if you wanted to put it into your A5 binder, you could. It also has these really small stickers as well. Really looking forward to using these to potentially customize my project managers and other pages in my plotter binder in the future. Next up, the ones that I want to go over are the Little Lou stamps that I purchased, as well as this portrait, which I'll get into more in a little bit. So Little Lou, who is an artist, attended the pen show with Pinky Elephant this year. And I was really excited when I saw this announcement because I really love this artist's work. And I've wanted to purchase these small stamps for quite some time, but they're in different collections. And I could never sort of pick and choose the right ones, if you will, online. It just seemed a little overwhelming and I just kind of wanted to wait until I could see them in person once I knew that they were going to be at the pen show, this new collection at least. So I bought a bunch of these small stamps that I thought could go really well into just my personal planner pages. I'm also planning to use a five-year journal next year, so I thought these would be a great addition to those as well. Just putting them into small corners and such. And you'll notice here the ones I'm showing you that I bought, they're not all positive emotions. Some of them are. Um, I have the one that I showed you earlier with the heart, but for example, this one is a person sighing. And I've noticed over time that I actually don't have a ton of stamps or stickers, stationery in general, that just depict sort of a the other side of things when I'm tired or when I'm frustrated or when I'm, you know, a little bit upset about something. There's not a lot of ways to express myself through stationery. So I really liked the diverse emotions in their set, so I purchased those stamps. And what I didn't realize until the pen show is that Little Lou was also doing portraits at the booth. So once I realized that, I made a separate purchase for the portrait and they drew me. It was such a nice experience. So basically you could choose from one of three papers and the areas I'm circling now are already pre-drawn onto it. And then the middle area, basically, you know, the person is drawn live. I think later on they switched it so that you could leave a picture of yourself at the booth and then the artist could work on it in a little bit more um, on their time. But I love all the details like my back strap and then they even drew the coffee cup on my shirt. And yeah, it was just a really memorable experience and I love that I got to walk away with this little souvenir. There's that character as well, which is very signature to Little Lou next to my face. And it's just such a cute portrait. And it's sort of, you know, it's like one of a kind. And I just wasn't really expecting this at all. So this was such a nice surprise and a real treat uh, to be able to get this done while I was at the show. Next up are the items I got from Tokubetsu Memory, and I want to leave the tote up here too because that was also from Tokubetsu Memory. So Judy was at Stationery Fest this year, and then she also came to the San Francisco Pen Show. So I was delighted to restock on some stickers from her. I really love these sparkly stickers from Wohen Landuo. And she brought 
a lot of other really fun and unique stationery and stickers from Taiwanese artists. So it was really fun to browse through her collection and purchase some more stickers for myself. This year, I have been pretty good about using what I have so far. And... So I ran out of a bunch of sticker sheets before the pen show, so it was a nice way to replenish them. The ones I'm showing you now are the San Francisco Pen Show exclusives, and I love the artwork by Wookie Art. It's just so cute, and it depicts San Francisco themes. And here's like a little Polaroid version. These are also San Francisco related, I believe. And it's just so cute, and I really love the pastel tones, so I decided to grab those. These are transfer stickers that I thought would be really cute. And then the last two I'm going to show you are from the artist Yu Ying, who I've seen their work of before, also from just Judy Shop, Tokubetsu Memory shop.com no i think it's just tokobetsumemory.com i will link that down below and these are just cute stickers again just not a whole lot of um explanation here to give but i just wanted to show you each and every single one that i did purchase and those are all the things that i bought from judy's shop and the tote that I'm pointing to now as well, which is just so cute. And it was really nice to see her again this year at the pen show after her attendance last year. Next up are items from Four Legs, who made their way to the San Francisco pen show this year for the first time. And they came alongside Mai from Paper Treats. Mai um, has her own shop, Paper Treat Shop, but she didn't have a booth of her own this year. She basically um, came with four legs to exhibit four legs, uh, the mushroom cat goodies that I'm about to show you. And she not only helped four legs kind of organize and set up the whole thing, but, you know, translated throughout the entire show, which I thought was so nice of her. Mai created this newspaper, um, this SF Pencho exclusive edition, and it was just a dollar to purchase at the show. And I love the analog approach to this. I already read it from back to back, um, basically the day after I bought it. Inside is an interview with Four Legs, as well as Judy, and there's a fun game you can play, like a word search, and there's even ad space for different brands, and just like an editor's note, and it's just, I love this idea, and she gives a shout out to all the past readers as well, so this is Paper Treat Shop, just wanted to give a shout out. Um, Mai is a really, really kind individual, and I just really loved this particular newspaper. I enjoyed it a lot. Alongside that, there were a couple of freebies at the table as well. This is one of them. And I got this sticker set. And again, Four Legs is known for their mushroom cat design. And I really enjoy that, you know, not only is this mushroom cat by itself on a lot of creations, but also with like a little one to the side many times, like there are two of them. And I just think that's such a cute touch. So I ended up getting this one stamp from them, which just depicts a bigger mushroom cat holding hands with a smaller mushroom cat, and they're just walking together. And the image was really endearing to me, so I decided to purchase this one. There were a couple others as well, but I just kind of held back and just bought one. 
This is a washi tape that I'm showing you that I got and it just again depicts the same mushroom cat character doing various things, eating, walking around. And it's just, I really like the vibrant colors. Building a snowman, it's just really cute and wholesome activities. So I decided to add that to my washi tape collection. And then this tiny little stamp of, I don't know, like a, a little bit of an upset looking mushroom cat. It's really small, this one stamp. And I just couldn't get over the expression. As I was talking about earlier, um, I think this would make a great addition to my like, maybe not so just positive emotions stamp set, if you will. So I decided to purchase those things. Really thoroughly enjoyed visiting this booth and saying hi to Four Legs and Mai. And then I went to Traveler's Company. This is one of the last booths that I visited, I think on day two. Yeah, on Saturday. And I said hi to the team. It was again really nice to see them again this year at the show. And the only thing I actually bought was an accordion paper fold or accordion fold paper, sorry, excuse me, refill. And I'm planning to use this. I am going on a trip next week and I'm going to use this to keep track of that. So this will be my travel journal for that week. I will keep ephemera in it, photos, and hopefully draw a little bit. They also announced an exciting road trip event, and this is actually a postcard that you can use. I love the color scheme and the artwork that they used here. And that little space right there is where you can put your stamp. I just really liked that extra touch on the postcard. So yeah, they'll be here again in November in San Francisco, which is super exciting and I'm hoping to be there as well. So fingers crossed that I can make that work and attend that event too. So that was pretty much it from Traveler's Company. Just kept it really simple and bought what I needed from them. And those are all of my purchases from the San Francisco Pen Show. Like I said, I wasn't at the show for very long, so I'm sure I missed saying hello to a bunch of people who were actually there. If you were there and you, you know, stopped by to say hello or spend any time with me, I really appreciate it. And if you were there and we didn't get to catch up with each other, I hope you had a wonderful time at the show. It seemed even busier than last year, actually. <laughs> so... Yeah, I hope you all, you know, who got to go really had fun and enjoyed your time. I am hoping to attend once again next year. Fingers crossed that all works out. I hope you enjoyed this haul. Thank you so much for watching. And I will be back hopefully in the next couple weeks with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.